YouTube, we back in full effect. Today, we got from the Just Pearly Things channel. Shout out to her, but she a real one, bro, in the Red Pill community, I guess you want to call it. She's a real one, man. I like watching her videos, and she got a really great head on her shoulders, bro. Uh, um, she, man, she has a video here, bro. I think she just posted it recently. Yeah, it's titled, Should Men Retaliate from Abuse? I'm gonna make sure to tag, I'm gonna make sure to leave a link in the description about the video. Cause I really want y'all to watch this, man. I'm probably not gonna watch the whole thing in full, but I wanna just get a little gist of what she's talking about because this is a topic that I've been, I've really debated with my friends and, and even, my, even, my, even my sister, even my 19 year old sister, bro, I've, I've debated this with her on um, whether men should be able to um, defend themselves and be able to hit a woman back. If a woman hits you in the face or punches you or smacks you in the face, should you be allowed to hit her back without any type of consequence? That's a good question, but let's just see what they're talking about here, man. Slaps like a dude. Like, I think okay, so. Okay. If, I don't if, if, you, I if you if you if you went up if you went up yeah. to the rock, right? Okay, yeah. And you hit him. Yeah. And then you get decked back. Yeah. Nobody's gonna feel that. You gotta eat that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I have to hold it. Back. Right. But, but it's People a straight... will say to you, you shouldn't have hit the rock. Right. Right. Joe hit the rock right. and he hit her back. Yeah. The rock's right. You're the antagonist. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So I'm saying like. Like if a girl, if it's the the arguments, like the girl's weaker, but there are guys that are, are skinnier than other yeah. guys, or like smaller than other guys. Like The Rock yeah. is gonna beat up any dude in this room, and if yeah. any of you hit him, right. you're stupid for doing mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Just like a woman, like I'm sorry, if you're gonna hit like a dude, you should get yeah. be prepared like, to get hit. In that back. situation, as a guy, you're kind of taught from a very young age, depending on your upbringing, that mm -hmm. even if that happens, you have to almost be the bigger person yeah. Yeah. and not strike back. That's and see that this dude in the pink sweatshirt, bro. Is he's, he's speaking the fact that because that's how I was raised as well. I was raised, um, if a woman puts her hands on me, that I need to do everything I can to get away from that situation. You see what I'm saying? But in, like, you know, almost like the man has to always make sure that he's being the bigger person and the woman can just do whatever she wants to do. You know, and I understand you being a man, you being the head of a household, you know, you do have to be mature and you do have to, you know, kind of set that precedent in the house that, you know, I'm the man and I'm the, I'm kind of, you know, I'm the, I'm the rock of the family. So I can understand that to an extent. But my problem with that is that basically it gives women full force to go ham on a man and ain't nobody going to say anything about it. So I'm like, hmm. So my woman can grab a bat or something, but she can be pissed. And she can grab a bat and hit me with a bat, and I'm supposed to just sit back and just, or or I can get slapped, bro. Because to me, because sometimes I feel like isn't it just human nature to want to defend yourself? If somebody keep hitting you in the head, right, and you walking away, because my mom will tell me, hey, if she's hitting you, walk away. I understand that, but as I'm walking away, I can't just get up and walk away, bro. She's probably gonna follow me and keep hitting me. So what? As I'm walking away, she's. Right? She's hitting me. Eventually, bro, aren't you going to turn around and be like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Like, st like stop putting your hands on me. Right? Like, eventually, you're going to want to say something. And, you know, I guess there are definitely are ways to react without having to put your hands on her and, or, and, 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 and hit her back. But I always just felt like women had too much power in that type of situation. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm you saying. You can, you can defend well, uh, yourself without, like, yeah, exactly. going ham. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, yeah, that... The way how right, I've been brought up and that how I bring up my son is if a girl hits you, you go and get your sister and make your sister demolish her. I would have called that as well. Okay. I would have called that too. Look, I get that, but hey, my sister, bro, my sister is a big pacifist, bro. She don't like to fight nobody. She ain't fought nobody in her life. She's a very chill person. That ain't going to work in my situation, bro. That ain't going to work. It's me versus you at that point because she ain't coming. My sister's not going to fight like that. So what if you ain't got a sister? Or you don't have any female figure around you. Now what? You just so you're, so you're, so her son is supposed to just take the pain or just take it. Because like I said, this, and this is why I be saying, nobody give a damn about men's feelings. Men's feelings do not matter. I don't care what anybody says. Men's rights and men's feelings do not matter to, to, to in society. Especially in the Western world, in my opinion. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. Because if it did matter, these type of convers these would, this wouldn't even be a conversation. Because the conversation would just simply be, one sentence, women, do not put your hands on men, and men, do not put your hands on women. End it there, case closed, we done. Because after that, what else needs to be said? But the fact that we even having this conversation, and we, and we even having to, having to have to have to debate this, is just showing that men's opinions and men's feelings don't matter, brother, anybody.
Men, you got to stay up, bro. That's why I feel like men got to stick together and men got to help each other out. Because at the end of the day, bro, I feel like women, they don't care as much as they may seem like. They don't really care about your well-being as much as you may feel like, if that makes sense. The other day, they was playing outside, and my son come in crying, said that someone slapped him in the face. I said, Zara, mm -hmm. you know what you got to do. You got to beat her ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, ever since the dawn of time, like, I can't lie, ever since I've known, like, mm. it, when a girl wants to put her hands on me, yeah, or even just chat shit to me, bro, I'll go call one of my ratchet hoes, bro, from the... Mm. You get me? One of the mm. girls that a man knows and just told really? him, bro, I can't lie, i got a problem. This girl's yeah, pissing yeah, me yeah. off, bro. Like, yeah. Sort that out, please. See, you know my brother's I mean? never had that problem because I'm mentally unstable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, but um, yeah. I kind of feel like it should be dealt with in the moment, though. By the no, if, do you know we've seen it being dealt with in the moment with mm. the whole like Chris Brown Rihanna thing. That got dealt with in the moment, and look what happened to Chris Brown. His thing yeah, got fucked up. Yeah, but he took it up. over, but he decked her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. He fucked her up. Like, but apparently, he she was fucking. Yeah, that's up. what I no, heard. No, that's yes. Here we go. Here we go. Now we get. Now we now now we getting the ball rolling. Okay. Now we bring in examples. The 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 whole Chris Brown Rihanna situation. Once again, and let me make this very, very clear in this video before anybody tries to twist my words and, 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 and do some, you know, weird bullshit. You know how the media be sometimes. Because this channel will continue to grow and rise and people that come back to this video will see this. Uh, uh, will see me talking about this and, and, and you know, I, I don't want nobody twisting my words. We do not condone domestic violence. I do not, I do not, I, I do not approve of men just putting their hands on women when they get mad. Just because your woman gets you mad about something, or your woman didn't get you to, she didn't get you your, uh, she didn't get your order at a Chick Fil A or something, or, 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 or she, 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 or, or she does something to piss you off. I don't know what it would be, and you start putting your hands on her, and hitting. I'm not with that. I'm not with that. Trust me. Unfortunately, in my family, that shit is has, has ran through generations. It's like a generational curse. I'm trying to break in my in my own family about putting your hands on women. We're not doing that. What I'm saying is, should the man have the right to defend himself? In the Chris Brown Rihanna situation, people forget. Look, Chris Brown, he 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 messed her up. We saw the picture. He messed her up. He messed Rihanna up bad. But. I always wondered to myself, why did Rihanna not get punished as well for putting her hands on him first? Remember, she was beating him up first. Bad. She beat him up too. But nothing happened to her for that. Now, did she deserve to get hit like that? It depends on who you ask. I know some people will probably say, if you believe that men should be able to retaliate, then maybe... Maybe I don't. I don't think she deserved all that. Cause if, bro, I'll I'll put the picture in, bro. She was she was bad. I he he went ham, bro. He had to do all that. But I person honestly, I'm gonna come out and say, I think I I think I I think she I think he should have been allowed to hit her back, bro. I really do. I really do, man. I really I just don't think women should be allowed to be putting their hands on men. I'm a, I'm gonna actually just leave it there because I don't I don't really need to keep going with this, but. Um, I don't, I don't only got like two minutes into like a 17 minute video, but I don't want to just keep, I don't want to react to the whole thing. Cause it's gonna be like 30 minutes. But like I said, bro, like women should have some type of self control for themselves. If a man, as a man, I have to control myself. I have to be able, I have to, I have to, um, have some type of composure, right? Cause no woman gonna want to be with a man. Well, at least most women that I know, they're not gonna want to be with a man that's abusive that's that that's that's treating her like shit, all that type of stuff, you know that because that, that's a very toxic and negative environment to be in. But at the same time, with the man, everything he gotta bring, she gotta bring her, she gotta she gotta bring her, she gotta bring her her end of the bargain too. She gotta make sure that she's keeping her composure. If you get mad, take a breather, bro. Learn how to control yourself. Whether that's meditation, to get taking a walk, whatever you need to do. But but to put your hands on a man like that, to be slapping him and. Kicking him, do whatever, bro. Like anything that you don't want done onto you, bro, do not do onto others, bro. I I just think it should be. It really is that simple. It really this this should not really be a huge debate. I really don't think it should be a debate that like at all. Like why why as a woman do you think it's justified to put your hands on another man? That's why even even though even the Will Smith even the Will Smith Chris uh uh Chris Rock situation at the Oscars. Seeing Tiffany Haddish basically defend Will, saying that, oh, well, he's defending his woman. What the fuck are you talking about? He didn't, he didn't need to resort to violence on stage. I'm, I'm, hey, look, I'm happy Chris Rock didn't 
didn't, didn't try to fight back because then it really would have then it, then it would have been really left if Chris Rock would have fought back. Now you got two men fighting on stage. Now that looks really and, and you know what I mean and, and, and two respected men in the, in the, in the industry, like violence should not be in and, and I sound so corny but violence should there, it, violence violence is not the answer bro it, and it really it really isn't it really isn't. All Will had to do in that situation was just say, hey, you know what? Well, when they go on commercial break, call Chris Rock to the side. Be like, hey, bro, that joke wasn't it. That joke was not it, bro. Or do what? What's his name? Did uh, Jonah Hill? You know, at that award show, that meme. Just keep it simple, bro. Keep it simple. Y'all be overthinking this stuff, man. Like, just keep your hands to yourself, man. Keep your hands to yourself. There's no need to be putting your hands on people. That's my that's that that's my opinion on this man. What y'all think? I want y'all to leave y'all comments down below. What do y'all think men should be allowed to retaliate from abuse? As y'all just probably down, I'll put a link to the video in the comment section. Do y'all think that or in the description, sorry. Do y'all think that men should be able to, to respond to, to retaliate from abuse? Is it is it right? Is it wrong? What y'all think, man? I want to hear from y'all. Until next time, it's your boy Lance, and I'm out.